In today's video, Susan will tell you a story her morning at the coffee shop. You'll learn some useful vocabulary and expressions that are commonly used in everyday conversations. Listen carefully. One sunny morning, I woke up with a craving for a delicious cup of coffee. My name is Susan, and I love starting my day with a warm, comforting drink. I decided to walk to my favorite coffee shop, which was just a few blocks away from my house. As I stepped outside, the sun was shining brightly and the birds were singing. I felt happy and excited about my little adventure. The walk was pleasant, and I enjoyed looking at the beautiful flowers in the gardens along the way. When I reached the coffee shop, I saw a friendly barista behind the counter. Her name was Emily, and she always had a big smile on her face. Good morning, Susan. What can I get for you today? She asked cheerfully. I smiled back at her and said, Good morning, Emily. I would like a large cappuccino, please. A cappuccino is my favorite type of coffee. It has a perfect blend of espresso, steamed milk, and frothy foam on top. Emily started preparing my coffee, and I watched her work. She was very skilled and it was fascinating to see how she made the drink. While waiting, I looked around the coffee shop. It was cozy and inviting, with comfortable chairs and small tables. Soon, Emily handed me my cappuccino. Here you go, Susan. Enjoy your coffee, she said with a smile. Thank you, Emily, I replied, taking the warm cup in my hands. I found a nice spot by the window and sat down. The first sip was heavenly. The rich, smooth taste of the coffee combined with the creamy milk and frothy foam was just what I needed to start my day. As I sat there, enjoying my cappuccino, I felt grateful for the little things in life. A simple cup of coffee, a friendly smile, and a sunny morning made my day perfect. Before we begin our speaking practice, let's learn some new words and expressions from our story. Craving means a strong desire for something. Example, I had a craving for chocolate cake yesterday. Comforting means something that makes you feel better or less worried. Example, a warm blanket is very comforting on a cold night. Pleasant means enjoyable and nice. Example, we had a pleasant picnic in the park. Brightly means with a lot of light in a cheerful way. Example, the stars shone brightly in the night sky. Cheerfully means in a happy and positive way. Example, the children played cheerfully in the playground. Frothy means full of bubbles, light and airy. Example, the frothy milk on top of the hot chocolate looked delicious. Skilled, meaning having the ability to do something well. Example, the skilled artist painted a beautiful picture. Inviting means attractive and welcoming. Example, the inviting aroma of fresh bread filled the kitchen. Heavenly mean very pleasant like heaven. Example, the smell of the roses was heavenly. All right, time to speaking practice. Repeat after Susan.
One sunny morning. One sunny morning. I woke up with a craving. I woke up with a craving for a delicious cup of coffee. For a delicious cup of coffee. My name is Susan. My name is Susan. And I love starting my day. And I love starting my day with a warm, comforting drink. With a warm, comforting drink. I decided to walk to my favorite coffee shop. I decided to walk to my favorite coffee shop. Which was just a few blocks away from my house. Which was just a few blocks away from my house. As I stepped outside, as I stepped outside, the sun was shining brightly. The sun was shining brightly, and the birds were singing. And the birds were singing. I felt happy and excited about my little adventure. I felt happy and excited about my little adventure. The walk was pleasant. The walk was pleasant. And I enjoyed looking at the beautiful flowers. And I enjoyed looking at the beautiful flowers in the gardens along the way. In the gardens along the way. When I reached the coffee shop, when I reached the coffee shop, I saw a friendly barista behind the counter. I saw a friendly barista behind the counter. Her name was Emily. Her name was Emily. And she always had a big smile on her face. And she always had a big smile on her face. Good morning, Susan. Good morning, Susan. What can I get for you today? What can I get for you today? She asked cheerfully. She asked cheerfully. I smiled back at her and said, I smiled back at her and said, 
Good morning, Emily. Good morning, Emily. I would like a large cappuccino, please. I would like a large cappuccino, please. A cappuccino is my favorite type of coffee. A cappuccino is my favorite type of coffee. It has a perfect blend of espresso. It has a perfect blend of espresso. Steamed milk. Steamed milk. And frothy foam on top. And frothy foam on top. Emily started preparing my coffee. Emily started preparing my coffee. And I watched her work. And I watched her work. She was very skilled. She was very skilled. And it was fascinating to see how she made the drink. And it was fascinating to see how she made the drink. While waiting, while waiting, I looked around the coffee shop. I looked around the coffee shop. It was cozy and inviting. It was cozy and inviting. With comfortable chairs and small tables. With comfortable chairs and small tables. Soon, Emily handed me my cappuccino. Soon, Emily handed me my cappuccino. Here you go, Susan. Enjoy your coffee. Here you go, Susan. Enjoy your coffee. She said with a smile. She said with a smile. Thank you, Emily. Thank you, Emily. I replied. I replied. Taking the warm cup in my hands. Taking the warm cup in my hands. I found a nice spot by the window and sat down. I found a nice spot by the window and sat down. The first sip was heavenly. The first sip was heavenly. The rich, smooth taste of the coffee. 
the rich, smooth taste of the coffee. Combined with the creamy milk and frothy foam, combined with the creamy milk and frothy foam, was just what I needed to start my day. Was just what I needed to start my day. As I sat there, as I sat there, enjoying my cappuccino, enjoying my cappuccino, I felt grateful for the little things in life. I felt grateful for the little things in life. A simple cup of coffee. A simple cup of coffee. A friendly smile. A friendly smile. And a sunny morning made my day perfect. Well, and a sunny morning made my day perfect. All right, let's listen to the story one more time. One sunny morning, I woke up with a craving for a delicious cup of coffee. My name is Susan, and I love starting my day with a warm, comforting drink. I decided to walk to my favorite coffee shop, which was just a few blocks away from my house. As I stepped outside, the sun was shining brightly and the birds were singing. I felt happy and excited about my little adventure. The walk was pleasant, and I enjoyed looking at the beautiful flowers in the gardens along the way. When I reached the coffee shop, I saw a friendly barista behind the counter. Her name was Emily, and she always had a big smile on her face. Good morning, Susan. What can I get for you today? She asked cheerfully. I smiled back at her and said, Good morning, Emily. I would like a large cappuccino, please. A cappuccino is my favorite type of coffee. It has a perfect blend of espresso, steamed milk, and frothy foam on top. Emily started preparing my coffee, and I watched her work. She was very skilled and it was fascinating to see how she made the drink. While waiting, I looked around the coffee shop. It was cozy and inviting, with comfortable chairs and small tables. Soon, Emily handed me my cappuccino. Here you go, Susan. Enjoy your coffee, she said with a smile. Thank you, Emily, I replied, taking the warm cup in my hands. I found a nice spot by the window and sat down. The first sip was heavenly. The rich, smooth taste of the coffee combined with the creamy milk and frothy foam was just what I needed to start my day. As I sat there, enjoying my cappuccino, I felt grateful for the little things in life. A simple cup of coffee, a friendly smile, and a sunny morning made my day perfect. Good job today. Keep it up. Every lesson helps you get better at English. We're excited to see you in my next videos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more lessons. Keep learning and see you soon.